With arguably more skyscrapers than any other city on Earth, Hong Kong has a reputation as a concrete jungle that doesn't necessarily end on land. Like many coastal cities, Hong Kong uses concrete structures to protect its coastline from dangers like erosion, flooding, and strong waves. Concrete structures like this breakwater can actually drive away marine life, but one Israeli startup has come up with an alternative that is better for us humans as well as the sea creatures that share our shores. For thousands of years, humans have been building with concrete. Long-lasting and weatherproof, concrete is the most widely used man-made material on Earth. In Tel Aviv, on Israel's Mediterranean coast, marine biologist Ido Sella co-founded startup eConcrete in 2012 to develop an alternative, one that helps turn bare man-made structures into thriving ecosystems. Regular concrete releases chemicals in the ocean that make it more alkaline, so sensitive marine organisms struggle to survive. Sella says e-concrete develops additives that are mixed into concrete to help it match the neutral pH of seawater. The startup also manufactures blocks and panels that mimic the shape and texture of natural rock formations. So while concrete typically has smooth, slick surfaces, e-concrete's products are designed with crevices and ridges that help plants and animals latch onto the surface like algae, oysters and coral. Once you deal with what's grow on the concrete, you actually also affect all the other organisms that are associated with the structure. Sella says the technology can more than double the amount of biodiversity compared to traditional concrete. But even the most eco-friendly infrastructure is no match for natural shorelines, some ecologists warn. Nature-based coastal solutions are more around the idea of incorporating nature into your hard structure which could be a mangrove forest or a wetland. There's a whole lot of benefits that your nature-based solution might provide, like fisheries productivity, uh, recreation, tourism, potentially. Restoring coastal habitats like mangrove forests or wetlands also provides a natural buffer against waves and flooding. However, these nature-based solutions take years to mature and need a lot of space. This is really working against nature-based solutions, which take longer to achieve their desired benefits. But finding alternatives to concrete helps the environment in other ways. Cement, one of the materials that goes into making concrete, comes with a high carbon footprint. The cement industry is responsible for up to 8% of the world's carbon emissions. Sella says the startup's concrete mix reduces the amount of cement needed, lowering the carbon footprint of the sea defense. And, he says, marine organisms that grow on the surface actually absorb carbon dioxide. And it's this biological crust that actually makes the concrete stronger, according to Sella, an added benefit to city developers. Concrete, which have oysters growing on it, will be up to 10 times stronger in tensile strength than standard bare concrete. And that means better value for money. While the product can cost around 15% more than regular concrete, it needs less maintenance, so the project is cheaper over its lifespan, Sella says. Structures are built in the water between 60 to 120 years design life. It will take e-concrete decades to prove its products can last as long, but the startup will have plenty of opportunities E-Concrete says it has installations in over 35 locations around the world, including in Hong Kong. Juan Carlos, a marine pollution researcher, helped install E-Concrete's tidal pool blocks in 2019 as part of a government-funded trial to boost biodiversity on artificial shorelines. We have found that the concrete unit have contributed about 50 to 100 percent more species and the oyster basket we have about four times more species compared to granite rocks at the same tidal heights. For the next phase of the trial however Carlos's team will also produce its own designs locally in part to lower the price and environmental impact of transporting the units from Israel. In the future e-concrete hopes to build manufacturing hubs across the world the company raised $5 million in 2020 to expand its operations 
and meet more of the demand of the planet's growing coastal population. With prediction of sea level rise and increased storminess, we need to armor our shoreline in a better way in order to protect this huge portion of population.